Wiper Movement Party held the National Executive Committee the meeting this morning at the party's headquarters in Lavington. And we're now joined alike by our reporter Marimi Mwangi from our city centre studio for the details on what took place. Marimi, thank you very much for joining us. Maybe you can tell us what was the agenda of that particular meeting? Good afternoon, Betty. Uh, of course, the key agenda for uh, the WIPA leaders that were meeting today was to appoint an executive director for the WIPA party. And that position, of course, was clinched today by uh, Dr. Jared Mark Asiso, a seasoned uh, scholar in uh, medical matters, but one who, is, uh, who has a history of uh, doing some very good research, not only in uh, the issues of health, uh, but also on various uh, social economic issues. But of course, the big duty that awaits the new executive director of the Wiper Party is, of course, to put the secretariat of the party in order, uh, again, also to possibly crack the whip on uh, rebel Wiper legislators, uh, some of who have been accused of uh, seeming to be affiliated to the ruling coalition. But of course, analysts uh, would argue that it's not an affiliation to the Jubilee Coalition per se, but a close uh, dalliance with uh, rebel Machakos governor, Dr. Alfred Mutua. So of course, he has a, a, a duty, a critical one, to crack the whip on these rebel uh, MPs and again put the Wiper House in order ahead of the 2017 uh, general election. But the statement today from the Secretary General of the Wiper Party, who also happens to be the Mombasa Senator, uh, Mr. Omar Hassan, uh, was that starting from next week, all elected uh, leaders drawn from the Wiper Party are expected to undertake a, a massive grassroots uh, mobilization exercise to sensitize the supporters of the party across the country to register as voters in the ongoing exercise that, of course, is set to close by the 15th of this month. That means in the next two weeks, it's going to be uh, quite a critical task for them. Uh, but again, even the ongoing campaigns for the Malindi by-election did feature in that uh, statement from the Wiper leaders today. And they say that uh, they'll be camping in Malindi to make sure that the court coalition clinches that seat. Of course, clinching that seat uh, would be a plus for the court coalition, uh, given that it's only 17 months to the next election. But if I may touch a bit on the voter registration exercise that is said to uh, be undertaken, or the mobilization exercise from the WIPA leaders, uh, it seems that uh, Dr. Jared will have a critical uh, duty to ensure that this actually happens, because in the past, uh, the Ukambani base of the court coalition has been accused of having so many potential voters, but very few of them turn out to register. You remember earlier last month uh, during the national meeting of the Wiper leaders in Machakos, that was one of the key issues that was raised by most of the speakers there, especially now that uh, by the end of this month, uh, the three uh, court core principles are supposed to officially uh, nominate who is going to be the official uh, flag bearer for the coalition with regards to the presidency as that agreement that they signed in 2013 happens to expire later this month. So it's quite uh, an interesting task that is ahead for uh, Dr. Jared Maaka Siso, who is the new executive director of the WIPA party, Betty. Right, Moringi, just before I let you go, like you mentioned, it's an interesting problem that he has. Uh, but how exactly is he going to go about the mobilization of uh, people for the voter registration? You know, IEBC just a few days ago said that, you know, they're still not getting to that point, that mark that they had hoped uh, to get, you know, every single day they go out to, for this exercise. So how is he going to do it, to, going to do it differently so that they get the numbers? Now, uh, all the elected leaders, be it MCAs, MPs, senators, and even those nominated on uh, the WIPA ticket, are expected to undertake mobilization from the grassroots. That's, uh, th that means they might have to hold public barazas uh, in the villages out there to mobilize the supporters uh, in the perceived wiper strongholds to turn out and register in large numbers. Remember, the court coalition is uh, banking on a, 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 a very big turnout in 2017 to clinch the presidency, which they lost in 2013. So it, it's quite a task that now falls on the hands of the various leaders from the grassroots 
uh, across the country who are elected on the WIPA party ticket or nominated on the same in the county assemblies, uh, in the national assembly, uh, and of course the Senate. Betty. Right.